And question number three, it says the degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent. So for example, for this polynomial, degree is six. And it says a polynomial Px has a turning point at 0, 0. Now explain why P0 equals 0 and why P dash 0 equals 0. And explain why there is a polynomial Qx such that Px equals x square into Qx. Now, when this polynomial, it has a turning point at 0, it will either have a maxima or a minima at this point. Now, this point 0, 0, it will lie on the curve. And if 0, 0 lies on the curve, then P0 will be equal to 0. And also, we know that at turning points, derivative is 0. So that means P dash 0 is also equal to 0. So basically, this polynomial Px, it has a double root at x equal to 0. So if x is a double root, then we can write this Px as x minus 0 whole square and then into product of other factors, which is another polynomial, say Qx. So we can write this Px as x square into Qx and which is what we need to prove in this first part. Now the second part it says a polynomial Rx has a turning point at a equals 0 for some real number a. Write down an expression of R that is similar to the expression above. Justify your answer in terms of transformation of graph. Now for the second part, if there is a turning point at a equals 0, that means this R a must be 0 and R dash a must be 0. So x equal to a must be a double root for this rx. So we can write this polynomial rx as x minus a square into some polynomial qx. We can also write this rx as x minus a square into q x minus a. So both the forms are equivalent forms. Now it says justify your answer in terms of transformation of a graph. Now if we look at these first two situations in the first one we had a double root at 0 and we have expressed this polynomial as x square into qx and the second one we have expressed it as x minus a square into q x minus a. Now just by looking at the two polynomials we know that we can get rx from px by replacing x with x minus a that is shifting the graph of px a units along x axis. So if we translate this function a unit along x axis, we'll get this rx. So that's a justification in terms of transformation of a graph. Now in the third part, it says, you are now given a function fx, which is a polynomial of degree four, and it has two turning points at a equals zero and minus a equals zero for some positive number a. Now the first part is, write down the most general possible expression of fx and justify your answer. Now we know that this fx, it has a turning point at a comma zero and minus a comma zero. That means it has a double root at x equal to a and a double root at x equal to minus a. So we'll have this x minus a square as one factor and x plus a square as another factor. So we have to write this function fx. We can write this function fx as some constant a into x minus a square into x plus a square. And that's your part a. Then the part b it says, describe the symmetry of fx and prove algebraically that fx does have this symmetry. For y-axis symmetry, we know that f minus x, it should be equal to fx. Now, if we look at f minus x, it will be this a and then minus x minus a whole square and then minus x plus a whole square. Now, this is f minus x. It is a. Now, if we take minus 1 common, minus 1 square is plus 1. So, it will be this 
x plus a square and here also we'll take minus 1 common and minus 1 square is again plus 1 so it'll be x minus a square which is same as fx. So in this case we have f minus x as fx so this curve it has a symmetry about y-axis or it has y-axis symmetry. Now since this function fx is a polynomial of degree 4 if we differentiate this we'll get its derivative which is a polynomial of degree 3 and we already have two turning points a and minus a so there must be this third turning point. Now it says write down the x coordinate of the third turning point of fx. Now we have already established that this function fx it is symmetric about y-axis. It has one turning point at a comma zero and another turning point at minus a comma zero. Now if the third turning point is at any other point other than zero, then basically this point will have a reflection about y-axis. In that case, there'll be four turning points, which is not possible. So this function can have the third turning point only along y-axis and for y-axis value of x coordinate will be zero. So this part C is, it'll have a turning point at x equals zero. Now this fourth part is, is there a polymer of degree 4 which has turning points at 0, 0 and 1, 3 and 2, 0. Now we'll look at this 1, 0 and 2, 0 and its midpoint is 1,0. Now what we'll do is we'll start with this part 3 and part 3 where we have established that it has turning points at minus a and plus a where these two roots they are symmetric. So what we'll do is we'll start with the function fx which is say a into x minus 1 square and x plus 1 square. Now this function now this function it has turning points at minus 1 and plus 1. So its turning points will be minus 1 comma 0 plus 1 comma 0. And then there will be this third point which will be when x is 0 and if we put x as 0 we will get this as k. Now we want these roots to be 0 and 2 and for this what we will do is we will replace x with x minus 1. Now if we replace x with x minus 1 we will get this polynomial say px which is a into x square into x minus 2 square. Now it will have turning points at 0, 0, 2, 0 and then at 1, a and if we choose this a as 3, we will get this third turning point as 1, 3. So it is possible to have this function px which is 3x square into x minus 2 square which will have turning points at 0, 0, 2, 0 and 1, 3. Now the fifth one it says it is possible to have a polynomial of degree 4 which has a turning point at 1, 6, 2, 3 and 4, 6. So basically we want a polynomial with turning points at 1, 6, 4, 6 and 2, 3. We will solve this question similar to what you have done in this part 4. So here we have critical points at 1, 6 and 4, 6. Now difference between 1 and 4 is 3 units. So what we'll do is we'll take this function fx as a into x minus 3 by 2 square and x plus 3 by 2 square. Now it will have a turning point at minus 3 by 2 comma 0 plus 3 by 2 comma 0 and at 0 comma 81 by 16 a. Now we want these turning points to be 1 6 4 6 and 2 comma 3. So what we will do is 
will shift x to x minus 5 by 2 and we'll shift y to y minus 6. So we can write this polynomial px as 6 plus a into now this is x minus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2. So there will be x minus 4 square and here will be x minus 1 square. Now when we have shifted it along x, so this point 0, it will get shifted to x equals 5 by 2. So this function will have a symmetry at x equals 5 by 2 and not at 2 by 3. So it is not possible to have a polynomial whose turning points are at 1, 6, 2, 3 and 4, 6. That means answer to this part 5 is no and obviously answer to this part 4 is yes.